What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Rattlesnake Valley here on the PC. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Welcome. Welcome. How's it going? Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. What is up, guys? All right, so we finished planting field 15. And now we have jumped over to field 12 with the planter. So there's that. Okay, on to, we've got a lot of stuff to accomplish in this video. A lot of, we're gonna mess with some course play, guys. We, we need to do that. Here, we need to set up a course to get our trucks from field 13 to the train. Now, we need to find another output of this field. Another way out of this field, basically. Because I don't think it'll be a great idea to have them come in and out of the same place. Uh, necessarily. Unless it's over here, maybe in this corner, and there's a ton of room to turn around. Because I believe there is over here. Yeah, you got all this grass. This should be no worries at all. So, let's go ahead and just... Uh, Set up a course, actually. Let's, uh... So I believe there's an... Well, hang on here. <laughs> I gotta find where I'm going first to get out of, out of this field. There's a road right up here. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that'll work. We'll have them go in and out of there. Probably shouldn't have them go in and out of the same place, should I? No. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do now. Alright, I got this. I swear. Maybe? Probably not. Let's be real. <laughs> All right, so we'll start around, around, we'll start around here. Go ahead and start a new course, and we will drive northward. What I will do is have them come in the south side of the field, drive along the south of the field, come over here, and exit in the northwest corner. That should work out fairly well. I should have approached that corner entirely differently, but that's okay. That is okay. So, of course, we want to haul everything to the train. Because that's where you're going to get... Seems to be the best price. Well, may not always be the best price. But, with the quantity that you can sell there... At one time, you weren't sure to definitely to get the best price. At least, in my opinion. So, that is what we will do. And, yeah, I'm not, I know I'm not driving down the right side of the road. It's on purpose. Or, as I like to say on purpose. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, we need to hang a right turn up here in a moment. So that should be fun. <laughs> we need to work on our swing into the train as well. With the field 12 course. It actually got stuck a couple times. Definitely once for sure. Maybe more. I'm not totally sure on that actually, but they get stuck a little bit, and then that's part of the reason, or most of the reason, actually, I went to the smaller frame truck with the smaller frame trailer. i rather run more trucks and trailers than, uh, you know, having them get stuck all the time with the big one truck, let's say. Because if I can walk away from this map and let this stuff run, I'm all about that. Just saying. I am all about that life. So, there's that. All right, so let's try this, you guys. We're way over here. We'll get as close to that uh, signal as we can get there. And then swing it in. Hopefully it'll make that turn. Hopefully he will make that turn. Uh, just fine when he comes around. I was hoping that would help me look better, but it really doesn't. All right. Back across the bumpy road of bumpiness. Or something like that. <laughs> okay, and because I said I was going to have him come from the south side of the field, I think it makes sense to go back this way. I know it's a way longer path. Yeah, it's longer, but there's no cut. Well, there is a cut through there, but it's the bumpy roads. and It would probably be fine, but we will run this, guys. Uh, with these trucks, you know... They get rolling 42 miles an hour, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Plus, if I happen to run field 12 and, uh... What field is that we just bought? 13. 
if I would happen to run both those fields at the same time, it makes more sense to have the trucks going in the same direction along the route, you know, instead of having them go opposite directions. So kind of make the circles. It just, it makes a little more sense to me uh, to do it this way. So we are currently, the cedar there is done with field 12, which is very good. And we'll get cranked up over in 13 here in just a second with the harvest. So do this course, get both my trucks on it. Then I'll start the combines and I probably have to run Argo wagon again. Uh, Cause I don't think the course play guy will keep up with both of them. Uh, with that small Argo wagon, I just don't think that will happen. And to talk about, to talk about some of the last comments that I'm seeing from last week's videos there. Um, up, 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 uh, somebody was saying that cliffhangers are only meant for season finales. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You know, you can do... Oh, I wanted to turn there. Oh, no. Go back. Let's just go back. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We'll just go back a couple. No worries. We need to go back a couple more so that, like, he realizes to slow down. But season finales are, are not season finales. Cliffhangers are not necessarily just for season finales. Uh, it ensures that you guys come back and watch next week or on Friday or, you know, Tuesday. It. And I really, what I did, I didn't really consider it to be... should have moved all this equipment out of the way first. I didn't really anticipate it to be that big of a cliffhanger. It's just I wanted to finish out that mission. And obviously it was going to take a considerable amount of time... And I believe in the Friday video last week, I did address how much I made. I made like $150,000 off that mission. So it was definitely a lot of money. It was definitely a large sum of money. Okay, so we want to bring this in as straight as possible here because our auger wagon is going to be... Well, I'm going to be driving it, so it doesn't really matter as much, I guess. All right, let's stop right there. Stop. Let's save this, and we're going to do... One... Three. Gotta love my naming, guys. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's tell you to uh, drive the course. Hey? And let's tell you to go ahead and go for a run. And we'll see uh, if he gets stuck or not. Hopefully not. Hopefully, hopefully not. But uh, you never know with course play. It's not really course play. You never know with me using course play. Field 13. And let's go ahead and tell you to drive course as well. Although, what are you doing? Okay, you're going to fix yourself. You're going to get it. Awesome. Off, off you go, sir. Can you guys tell I've been watching Game of Thrones again? <laughs> if you guys are of age, I highly recommend the show. It is very good. If you're underage, do not, do not, do not, I have to say it, do not watch that show. It is horribly inappropriate, but if you're of age, it's great. Rather amusing. So as of recording this, I just finished, I, yeah, I finished this morning. I finished season two. So I believe season eight or whatever, the next new season starts up in late July, so I have a little bit of time yet, just over a month, to uh, get through the other seasons of Game of Thrones before before the new, uh, before it starts up again, basically, so, alright, off you go, you're good, you're just gonna chill, awesome, thank you, appreciate it, I do appreciate that. But yeah, it's uh it is definitely a show. <laughs> it is definitely an interesting show. So I'm gonna try not to talk about it too much, but you know, it's kinda like the thing going on in my life right now, so why not talk about it? Why not bring it into these videos, you know? That's what these videos are. It's just kinda what's going on? What's going on in my life? We got our first pumpkin up today. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, as I like to call it. Uh, the first one came up, ooh, whoa, you're just gonna make that corner, okay, cool. The first one literally came up 
today, the day I'm recording this video, which is, what is it, June 13th, 2017. It's approximately 2.26 p.m. So about one week before the video goes live, which is actually not enough for me. But if I do these videos just about one week uh, ahead or so, then I can kind of answer some comments in the videos, which is cool. I like to be able to do this. So if you guys have questions and stuff, feel free, comment section. I may not reply via comment, but I'll try to start replying to more of them via video. And actually, because I do most of my recordings on Tuesdays, Tuesdays are like my day to record. So I'm not able to answer comments from you know the other videos of the week. I usually go answer from the rattlesnake, but I can just go back an extra week and answer those videos, you know? So it'll be a week out. So if you ask a question in this video, it may not can answer for two weeks is what I'm getting at. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So because those videos are already recorded, and actually I'd like to get farther ahead, but I'm okay with this because, like I said, I it, it allows me to be able to answer some comments and and you know get the conversation going basically and and stuff like that in the comments so it's a good time at least I think it is I don't know what y'all think but I think it's a good time I think it's quite fun and uh, yes all that good stuff right all right so that didn't take us too long though about 13 minutes to get everything set up or 12 minutes maybe I did record it at the beginning of this that it will get cut of course just a little bit as always but that's not bad to get set up and running with new course for our trucks. Uh, of course, I'm not running the auger wagon on course play because I don't think he can keep up with two combines um, in such a big field. It just, I mean, he probably, um, he, no, he couldn't. If, yeah, if I had the big auger wagon, he probably would. But with this guy, it's going to be a struggle because of my travel time. I have to go so far to get to them. I should have had the trucks maybe stop on the south side of the field, but there's a lot more room over there on the on the west side, so that is okay. Plus the exits over there, and you know, there's not there's only two ways in and out of those fields, so yeah. And like I said, I don't want them to cross paths ever. Just keep a circle, basically. The only time they cross paths, I should say, is over at the train. But you know, that's okay. It's not the end of the world there's only going to be one truck running at a time as you can see now the back one is stuck in traffic which means he's probably rear-ending the truck and pushing him slightly but hey what are you going to do about it you know what are you going to do about it absolutely nothing unfortunately you just have to deal with it <laughs> so two trucks on course you're going to have that happen of course um, now I could I mean, I probably will get in the front truck after I dump this load and just send him off. 7,000 less than he holds, but what we do... Or actually, it'll be more than that, because I wasn't full the first time. So it'd be a considerable amount less um, than he holds, but we'll see. And I do plan on... Well, first off, I need to purchase the second truck. I'm leasing the blue one currently. I need to uh, purchase that. That's probably the first order of business for me on this map next. After that is what you're looking at right now. Tractor auger wagon needs to get upgraded in a bad way. Just saying. Maybe go to two. I don't know. Because with course play, it should be able to keep up with two combines. Except for maybe not because of the fast heads. I don't know. It'd, it'd be trial and error. Regardless, I would want two. Uh, you know, one or... Regardless, we need a bigger auger wagon is what I'm trying to say. So... That needs to happen very soon. And maybe one more field, like a field 10 or a 2, something like that, before we get into animals. Once we get one more field, I would feel very confident going ahead and getting into the animals on this map, which is where I need your all's help. What animals should we get into first? I'm going to leave this decision solely up to you guys in the comments but oh words in the comment section down below you guys get to tell me what animal should we go with first on rattlesnake 
I believe, and I'll have to look. I believe it has all all animals. It's got yeah, yeah. It's got all three: cows, pigs, sheep. Let me know what you guys think. Which one should we go with first? In the comment section down below, I would greatly appreciate it. So you guys get to make some you know decisions along the way in this map, which is uh, I think it's pretty cool. Let you guys do that, and uh, I'll. T tabulate or calculate all the add up whatever you want to call it all the uh, comments and that's the animal that we will go with first cows pigs sheep let me know guys in the comments down below all right so now the green truck should go because this is our third dump second full one and we may actually have a little bit extra here for the other truck but that's okay you're not blocked by me. Quit whining. You're not blocked. You're fine. Go on. <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> Scat. <laughs> whatever you whatever you want to say. Go on. You really think you're blocked by me. Okay, go. Thank you. Off with his head. <laughs> Seriously, too much Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> All right, two more full wagons. This guy will be good to go as well. So, guys, uh, we are yeah, we're getting towards the end of this video. So, for next week's video, guys, or not next week's video, for Friday, Thursday's video, I'm like, my schedule, I don't know my own schedule. I never know my own schedule. So, it's a thing. It's amazing that, like, I'm not good at scheduling, obviously, as you guys can probably tell. And, obviously, since I've had to take over, or not take over Puma Plot, but, you know, had to take on more responsibilities with Boom Plot over a year ago now. I'm not going to say that I'm perfect, because I'm not, but I'm doing a pretty damn good job if I do say so myself. Now, that might bring on some hate, but, you know, it's not bad. Not bad. The scheduling and, and all the stuff, you know? There is a lot of stuff that I that I do for, for quote, Boom Plot that I didn't have to do before a year ago, a year plus ago. You know, the, the uploading, the uh, titles, thumbnails. Uh, we didn't do thumbnails. So that, that definitely didn't do thumbnails. Uh, descriptions, that kind of stuff. And I know I'm not, like, the best title maker, descriptioner, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I do my damnedest and, uh, hey, it's all good, right? Uh, what was I going to talk about, though? Before I went on that re weird rant. Oh, but it's amazing that the videos make it out remotely on time i've been a little late here a couple days on videos and usually that's just because i'm sitting here at the computer videos uploaded to youtube ready to go because i upload everything in advance nothing goes up the same day pretty much and uh i'm just sitting here watching youtube playing minecraft playing farm sim whatever i'm like oh it's like 11:55, and i haven't made a thumbnail yet crap <laughs> that's usually how it goes and then it's like, oh, it's 12.05 and the video's going live. Good job, John. Good job. <laughs> it happens. Every time it happens, I just imagine you guys yelling at me from Twitch chat. You know, pick it up, John, or pick it up, Primo Plowboy, my gamer tag. I just imagine that every time I mess up. So it makes me not want to mess up again. Because I know that I will be getting yelled at by, say, Sean Sinclair or everybody else. <laughs> But in a nice way, of course. In a nice way, of course. I, I hope. I hope. I hope. All right, so uh, we're going to jump ahead here just a little bit between now and Thursday's video, guys. We will come back as we are just about done harvesting. And we will be selling and hopefully purchasing a truck. Because, uh, like I said, trucks first. Auger wagon tractor, maybe, if we have money. And we won't have enough money for a field. But, you know... A boy can dream. A boy can dream. So until then, make sure you guys hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And toodles.